The question that I have is, could you illustrate the vector method of finding moment via an example? Here is a summary of the equations relevant to the vector method of finding the moment of a force. Referring to this picture, moment about uh, point O of this force F is given by this equation, MO equals R cross F, and R cross F uh, eventually works out to be in this component form and here is a method of finding the R cross F. Once we find the moment about point O, we can find the moment about this axis, uh, the A axis, by this equation. MA is simply UA dot MO where UA is the unit vector along that axis. To evaluate this dot product, we can either first find MO in its component form like this, and then find the dot product between the two, or we can use this simplified direct expression for the dot product between UA and MO. Let's do this example. We have two forces, F1 and F2, given in components form by these equations, are acting at point A. We want to find the resultant moment by the forces about point O. Since this is a true three-dimensional problem, we'll use the vector method. Since both forces, F1 and F2, are acting at the same point, point A, it's convenient for us to combine the two into a one resultant, and then find the moment of that resultant. So how do we add two vectors? Well, we simply add the components in each direction. So x component of F1 is 100 x component of F2 is minus 200, so we add the 2, and that goes with i, and then minus 120 and 250 are added, and that goes with j, and then 75 and 100 are added over here, and that goes with k, right? You simplify that, and we get this for uh, the resultant for F in its component form. Now we need to define our r vector. So r vector goes from the point where we want to take the moment from, which is point O in our case, to a point that is on the line of action of the force, right? So point A is an obvious choice for us because we know the coordinates of that point. Since it's 3D, we will avoid uh, confusions if we first um, write down the coordinates of point A and then construct the vector r. So the coordinates of point A are 4 feet in the x direction, 5 feet in the y direction, and 3 feet in the z direction. All three are positive quantities, right? And therefore, my r vector is simply 4 times i plus 5 times j plus 3 times k. Alright, so now we got everything to go ahead and find the moment. This is our f vector, this is our r vector, and here I form the 3 by 3 determinant. Alright, so here I expanded into an equation involving the 2 by 2 um, determinants, and I simplified it. So this is what I got. So we got 485 times i minus 1000 times j plus 1020 times k, and of course, uh, this moment is in pound dot foot. Okay, so that's the units of that. Now, uh, of course, we know uh, this part right here is our uh, moment about the x-axis. Minus 1000 is the moment about the y-axis. And 1020 is the moment about the z-axis.